we're going to look at how to etch scratch paper with your endurance laser. So the first thing we want to do is find an image and process it. So I have an image already. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the website Imager, I-M-A-G-R specifically designed for laser engraving and you actually click each one of these one at a time as you're going through the process so we'll click upload your image and we're going to scroll down and grab this one and as you can see it loads it in the screen now we're going to and we're going to crop this first. So we click the crop button, we scroll down, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a square crop. What that's going to do is it's going to highlight this, the square, which is the way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. going to shrink the square to get rid of the white outer border. That's good. So we scroll down to the crop. It's going to process it. And here's our new smaller image. Now we are going to click resize your image. We'll change this to inches since the scratch paper is 7.1 by 5. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the DPI to 318 since that seems to be the sweet spot for doing these types of images in this processing. Now, we already know that there's a black border around it, so I'm going to leave it where it's at. Click OK. As you can see, it's resized it. Now, we go and we click this Choose the Type of Material. Now, what I do is I select Norton. And depending on if the background is already black or already white, I will either choose Norton Wood, Norton Tile, Painted Black, or Norton Tile. We're going to pick the Norton, Norton Tile Painted Black, and we're going to click OK. This is going to do is it's going to process the image for the laser. Now, you can't really see, but that black background wasn't fully black and there's a bunch of artifacts left. You can actually go into any of your programs and erase those. So afterwards you hit save and I always do download PNG. Now you might see an ad pop up, ignore it. You can click the X button until you hit then you can click your save file. Afterwards you can click go back to image and you want to click the last one which is refresh. This clears out the image of the buffer so you can start again and do another program. Then you can exit the program and next we'll move over to the laser and light burn. Okay, we have Lightburn open, and I've opened up a file I've got called Scratch Test. What that gives me is this 5x7 rectangle that I center the laser on the center of this, and I'll actually burn this around so it gives so I know exactly where to lay the paper down on the laser. 
So now what we will do is we will take our snow globe image that we did earlier and bring it in. Then we will center that. And we can increase the file to fill it out better. Now, over on the settings, I have it output off for the outer border since we don't need it. I have image set, and if you double click, you can go to the settings here. Leave it set to pass through since we've already processed the image. I found out between 18 to 20 percent max power used. So if it's going to be fully black, it will use the 20 or 19 percent in this case, and the rest will go lower. I've got the speed set to 2800. My initial settings of 3000 felt like it could go a little bit slower because I noticed some burn through to the back card stock. So we can just click OK now. And this is ready for when we hit start. So now we will load up the paper in the laser and then we'll start the program. Here we have the engraver, and as you can see, here's the rectangle that's showing our work area. We have our piece of scratch paper, and we line it up, and what we want to do is we want to tape all four corners, I suggest using painter's tape. So, a little bit hard to do with one hand, so the next part of the video will show it close to being done. And, well, see you in the next part. Once it's done, what you want to do is take a very soft cloth, either a very soft microfiber or a cotton towel, and you want to basically wipe off all the residue. You can see it down here. Just give it a few times. And we can peel off the tape that held the paper down. I use the lightest peel tape that you can use, as I stated earlier. I was using the blue painter's tape before, and I was noticing it was peeling up the corners, so I went with the lower tack purple. You could also go with the yellow As you can see even with the lower tech paper it is going to lightly peel up some of the marking but Here's the image once it's finished. We got some we still got to wipe off, but we can do that outside the laser enclosure. 
So now it's all wiped off. I've touched up a few areas that got scratched during removal of the taper by handling with black sharpie. Next we are going to coat it with a clear coat of paint or lacquer. So we're going to go two directions. We're going to go this way and then we're going to come to the other side. So. Move to this side. And now we basically wait for it to dry and we can put it in a frame. But even with just the clear coat on it, it brings out the shine a bit more. And that's it.